Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. My name is Marcus, and for nearly 10 years, I thought I had it all. Faith, my wife, was everything I ever wanted. We were happy, or so I thought. Our life was simple, filled with small joys and shared dreams. But as I'd soon painfully discover, not everything was as perfect as it seemed. And it was a regular Friday night when Faith said she was going out for drinks at our usual spot. I wasn't feeling great, so I chose to stay back. Little did I know that decision would change everything. I was lounging in my chair, half watching some show, when my phone rang. It was Mike, a good friend, but not someone who'd call late at night. His voice was serious, a stark contrast to his usual upbeat tone. Hey Marcus, you got a minute? Mike's voice was tense, a stark contrast to his usually laid-back tone. Yeah, sure. What's up, Mike? Everything okay? I asked, a knot of worry forming in my stomach. Listen, Marcus, I'm at the bar right now. I'm the DD tonight, so I'm completely sober, and I... I just saw something you need to know about. I sat up straight, my heart starting to race. What is it? It's Faith, man. I saw her here with someone, and it's not just any guy. Marcus, she's with your father. I felt like I'd been punched in the gut. My father? Mike, are you sure? How would you even recognize him? I barely remember what he looks like. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but it's him, Marcus. I've seen pictures of him, remember? Plus, he hasn't changed much, just older, you know? I couldn't believe it myself, but I'm telling you, it's him. My mind was reeling. But, are you sure it was Faith? Maybe you got it wrong? Marcus, I wish I was wrong, but it was her. They were pretty cozy, and then they left together. Look, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you're my friend, and you needed to know. I felt a mix of emotions. Anger, disbelief, betrayal. Mike, can you send me a picture? I need to see it myself. Yeah, I got a photo. It's not the best quality, but you can tell it's them. I'll send it over. Just, Marcus, I'm really sorry. As I hung up the phone, Mike's photo came through. It was blurry, but unmistakable. Faith, my wife, and the man I knew as my father, together. In that moment, my world crumbled around me. The woman I loved, with the man who had abandoned me as a child. It was too much to bear. I spent a restless night trying to make sense of it all, knowing that whatever came next, my life would never be the same. She came back home later that night, but I stayed silent. The next morning I kept my cool, but inside, I was boiling. I had to do something, something decisive. So, I came up with a plan. I packed most of her stuff while she slept, leaving only her clothes. That day, I suggested we go for a drive, telling her I had a surprise for her. She was blindfolded in the car, excited and oblivious to what I had in store. We drove in silence, my emotions a turbulent sea. As we pulled up in front of my father's house, the place where I had never been, where I never wanted to be, I felt a cold resolve settle in. This is your surprise, I said as I removed her blindfold. Confused, she looked around. I don't understand. I don't recognize this place. It looks old and ugly. It was then I knew for sure. That's how I knew he took you to a hotel yesterday, I said, the words heavy with finality. Before she could respond, the front door of the house opened, and there he was, my father. He sauntered out, a smug look on his face, which quickly turned to confusion upon seeing me. Marcus? What the... What are you doing here? He stammered, clearly caught off guard. Just dropping off some trash, I replied coolly, nodding towards Faith. Faith, still not piecing it together, turned to my father. What's going on? Why is Marcus acting like this? Oh, honey, don't worry. Marcus is just being dramatic, my father said, trying to sound charming but failing miserably. I couldn't help but laugh, a harsh, mocking sound. Dramatic? That's rich, coming from you. The deadbeat dad playing the knight in shining armor. Faith finally realized what was happening and started to panic. Marcus, please, let's talk about this. I made a mistake. A mistake? No, a mistake is forgetting to pay a bill. Not sleeping with my father, I retorted, my voice laced with disdain. 
My father, trying to sound conciliatory, chimed in. Son, let's not make a big deal out of this. We can all sit down and talk it out. I looked at him, the man who had failed me as a father, now trying to play peacemaker. Talk it out? You're just as pathetic as she is. Enjoy each other's company. You deserve each other. With that, I left them there, standing awkwardly in front of the house. As I drove away, I felt a sense of relief. I was free from the lies, the betrayal. I was free to start anew, leaving the past and its disappointments behind. As I drove away, leaving my past behind, I felt a strange sense of freedom. The future was uncertain and scary, but it was mine to shape. My story with Faith ended that day, but my own story was just beginning. Update. <laughs> it's been a while since the incident with Faith and my father, and a lot has changed in my life. The divorce, thankfully, was straightforward. Since the betrayal was so clear and the circumstances so unusual, I didn't have to pay any alimony. It was a clean break, legally and emotionally. After the dust settled, I focused on rebuilding my life. That's when I met Jenna. She's incredible, kind, intelligent, and with a sense of humor that matches mine perfectly. Our connection was instant, and for the first time in a long time, I felt genuinely happy. Jenna's family welcomed me with open arms, which was a new experience for me. Her father, Mr. Thompson, is the kind of man I always wished I had in my life. He's warm, supportive, and treats me like I'm his own son. We spend weekends together, working on his old car, watching sports, and just talking about life. He's given me the fatherly guidance and support I never had growing up. <laughs> Being with Jenna and her family has shown me what a healthy, loving relationship looks like. Mr. Thompson's acceptance and kindness have healed a part of me I didn't even know was broken. I've come to realize that family isn't just about blood. It's about the bonds you create and the love you share. I often think back to my time with Faith, and although there's still a sting of betrayal, I'm grateful for how things turned out. Without that painful experience, I might not have found the happiness I have now. I've learned a lot about myself, about what I want in life and in a partner. Jenna and I are planning our future together, and it's exciting. We talk about traveling, maybe starting a family one day, and just enjoying each other's company. With her, I feel a sense of peace and excitement for the future that I've never felt before. In a way, I have to thank Faith. Her betrayal led me to this new chapter in my life, one filled with love, support, and genuine happiness. I've found someone who truly appreciates me, and a family that treats me as one of their own. Life is unpredictable, but sometimes the worst experiences lead to the best outcomes. What an idiot. There is one thing cheaters will never understand. Actions have consequences. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.